This was being sold on eBay as a cold cathode tester for testing the tubes in um, the cold ca in the tubes in LCD displays that light that provide the backlight. And I, I was looking at it and thinking, looking at the heat shrink over that, it looks suspiciously like they've taken a standard uh, cold cathode like power supply and they've opened it up and done something and attached some leads or something and then put heat shrink on it. So I got one and I opened it up. And it's not quite, it's very similar. It's the standard Royer configuration that these things tend to be uh, with a sort of push-pull and feedback on the transformer. And the output uh, has a capacitor in series with it, which is quite normal. In this case, there's two tubes in this one, so it's got two capacitors in series. And they're, they're 22 picofarad. And this one is 33 picofarad. Um, but what's interesting about this one is that they've actually bridged that capacitor in the back with another surface mount capacitor, just tacked across. And I measured it earlier on, and it's 100 picofarad. These values might sound really low, 22 picofarad, 33 picofarad, doesn't sound a lot. But when you're talking about the frequency these things operate and the voltage that they operate at, which is about 1,000 volts, then that's actually a that's, you know, that little capacitor will pass a surprising amount of current. So um, let's give this one a test. They've bridged that across to make a total of 133 uh, picofarad, which is quite high. Initially when I saw that I thought maybe that's going to result in overdriving the uh, control circuitry because it uh, really is going to put quite a high load in the output. But uh, I tested it thermally and it seems to be okay. It seems to be quite a manageable amount of uh, heat. The tube does light very brightly though because effectively it's got a lot more than you know, you'd know you normally get from one of these little drivers. And that tube is, well I'll, I'll just unplug one of the, with one of the lights and you'll see it really is quite bright. The current being drawn 12 volt, it's 600 milliamps, which isn't actually too bad. So I'll try again the moon tube I've got, which is a bit longer. This is a, but this is argon mercury, which is easier to light. Neon has a higher voltage. So here's the argon mercury. And this is three and a half feet. Um, and again, just lights it no problem, as I'd kind of expect. Now the temptation is, do I put these two, do I put the knee in and this in series? At the moment it's drawing 650 milliamps, so I'm going to try the knee in series. I don't want to actually, well, I don't want to damage the little transform, but having said that, I purely got this for experimentation. So if I damage it, I damage it. There's a possibility if the voltage across it went too high, it could cause the windings to flash over internally, which is the main sort of uh, problem that might occur with something like that. So that's the two tubes uh, loosely in the series. Let's uh, power it up. No, it's gone sort of half-sided. It's not uh, going to light another one. I'll just double check they were making a good connection. No, it's not able to strike across the two of them. So um, what the voltage was at? The power supply is only showing 150 milliamps because it's not able to complete the circuit effectively to the, through the secondary. So this uh, is classed as a CCFL uh, tester and it's actually quite useful in its own right just as a power supply for um, modest length, modest, well, short, decorative neon tubes. So um, useful enough. Strange the heat shrink sleeving, I don't know, uh, if they've just done taken out of a box or... Um, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know why they've uh, supplied it like that. Is that the connector? Is the connector it's intended for? Which isn't one I really recognise as uh, being like the ones supplied with these um, little kits. But there you go. Interesting enough. Yeah, If you want one of these on eBay, just do a search for um, CCFL tester and it will be really obvious when you see this big blob of heat shrink sleeving um, on the listing.